Alan Floridian Scientist here, and welcome to an episode that I've been meaning to do for a few days now. Um, so, it's June, and in order to celebrate uh, Gay Pride Month, I wanted to do something along Gay Pride. So, I figured, let's, given that it's summer, let's do something with colored water balloons. So, today we are going to attempt to paint a tapestry with colored water in balloons. Which is a sentence I never thought I'd say. So guys, before we even do this, let's talk about what we're doing. We're going to spread a big giant paper towel under these balloons. Uh, and we have to, it has to be paper towel, it's the only material I've found that's thick enough um, to, you know, actually have a chance of hitting it. And it'll absorb the material, so. Uh, and then I am either going to take a cleaver and run it through all the balloons, or I'm going to shoot them all with an arrow, which is going to be a lot harder, because I don't have a good bow, because my good bow uh, broke. So, we're gonna figure something out. Alright, so here's our setup. As you can see, beautiful balloons. We have our paper towel down there. I really hope I positioned it right. Um, and then I need to grab my bow, which is not my good bow, um, but hopefully it'll work. So, can you please be my, uh, camera man person? Alright. Now, if I'm able to get in? all of these in one shot, which I doubt I will, Oh, almost. Where'd the arrow go? Uh, probably into the house. Um. All right, so let's go over. All right, let's go over how much of this actually works. We got one red, which is ex expected. This is the one that was like pretty high. Both yellows, uh, both greens. We didn't get any of the blue, which yeah, is... Take a look at your art. Here's the art, which it's beautiful. And honestly, I kind of want to cut these and then just before it all dries and get some blue in there. So I'm all, I think I'm only going to do one blue. Um, so I'm just going to use the arrowhead. So um, I think we're going to do it over here. There we go. Oh, crap. Uh, we, well, I completely poked a bunch of holes in it. Ah, crap. Well, I think that that was beautiful. Um, I definitely want to do it again. Although it's kind of starting to rain, so I think maybe we're going to wait. But we're, we're going to move this uh, somewhere else, let it dry, and then I'll definitely put in some footage afterwards of when it's dry. So... Alright guys, so I've decided that we're going to try it a second time, except this time, instead of using the paper towel, we are going to use my old white shirt. You can see the green is already kind of leaking. Because we're using a shirt, uh, we can only use one of each color, regrettably, but it is what it is. So hopefully this will make a pretty cool design and it'll give me a cool shirt to wear for Pride Month. Or it'll just end up looking stupid. But, I think this time I'm going to get a better close-up uh, there and instead of using an arrow I'm going to use a cleaver. I'm going to use this cleaver and I think because of the difference between the blue and the green I think I'm just gonna aim here and then I'll aim a, I'll cut a little bit high on the blue which would be regrettable and I just want to change it a bit down here so you know I get like the entire shirt and I just want to make sure you know it's aimed good yeah it's good all right um, I'm gonna back this up a little bit, just, you know, so it doesn't get any splatter, and I'm gonna zoom in on the colors. There, colors are hoisted. Alright, here we go. Um, alright, so I'm just gonna cut right through, like this, here we go. Ah. Oh. Well, that didn't really work too well. I'll show you what we got. All right. So, if I can zoom out. So here's what we got. The red is very prominent. So is the yellow. Um, I mean, it looks tie-dye, but it's definitely not a rainbow shirt. Here's uh, the clothesline that I was using to tie everything up. You can see that, that actually looks rainbowy. Alright, well, 
I think this is the end of the video, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like and subscribe. Comment down below what you'd like to see me do next time. And, uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Goodbye.